Hello. Well, you don't need me to tell you that it's spring. It's the 31st of March, actually, because I'm standing next to a hawthorn, which is just beginning to come into leaf. It's got a few weeks to go before it starts flowering. And behind me is a, a dogwood, which you can also see is just beginning to leaf up. So it's a beautiful spring day, lovely sunny morning, and I thought we'd look at uh, one of our really beautiful spring flowers. This is opposite leaved golden saxifrage. It's a very small plant, and so I'm going to have to get down and have a good look at it. So here we are, Chrysosplenium oppositifolium, to give it its scientific name. And the Latin scholars amongst you will have worked out from the oppositifolium that it has opposite leaves. Chrysosplenium means golden headed, pretty good translation. And the opposite leaves are on the stem below the flowering head. And you can probably see there are a pair of opposite leaves uh, uh, on the main stem. And in fact, there are two pairs. There is another uh, one of these, another native uh, uh, golden saxifrage that grows in uh, the UK, and that is alternate leaved golden saxifrage. And I can cheat. And if I take these leaves off, I've created what approximates to an alternate leaved golden saxifrage. And it would look pretty like that. There are other subtle differences, but they're actually quite difficult to see until you get dry in. The alternate leaved one flowers just a little bit earlier and it does have some other differences. And um, uh, the golden saxifrages form these great big mats of uh, beautiful coloured flowers in the spring. They live in uh, damp places by uh, ponds and uh, by rivers so make sure you've got your boots on when you come to have a look at them because otherwise you might get slightly damp feet. And the the reason they form these great big mats is because they're what we call stoloniferous and they have these, these not roots, because they go along the top of the ground and they have, uh, they spring up plants from these stolons. And so that's why they're, they're very patch forming. But if I look at the flowers themselves, and I'm afraid you do need your hand lens for this, um, because the flowers are very small. And if I have a good look at them, I can see that in fact, they have no petals, and what gives the flower its yellow colour is the, are the, uh, the calyx tubes. They're split into four. Uh, they look a bit like petals, but in fact they're, they're more like sepals. And um, they are this greeny yellow colour. But what really sets the plant off under a hand lens are the anthers. On, and they are bright, bright sunshine yellow. Um, the, uh, and that's what really brings the plant alive and brings out the yellow colour when you see it even from a distance. So they're really bonny plants. This is um, opposite leaf golden saxifrage, chrysosplenium oppositifolium, a really lovely spring plant. Um, spring for me means yellow coloured flowers. I'm quite sure why, there must be a scientific reason. And um, golden saxifrage is one of those. Makes your heart sing in the spring. <laughs> 